being treated at hospital number one, Zhu Ge Rei Chang. He was one of a group of holidaying retirees who were attacked. He tried to defend another member of the group, the friends tell us, suffering stab wounds to the head and arm in the process. At this one hospital alone, up to 60 patients are being treated with a variety of injuries, some having been stabbed once, some multiple times. One of the worst cases is a man who was stabbed through the heart, requiring transfusions of eight liters of blood. Miraculously, he survived, one of 10 patients treated in intensive care. Putting on display weapons used in the attack, the authorities have continued to blame Xinjiang separatists. Drawn from the minority Muslim Uyghur community, some of whom oppose Chinese rule. The authorities are promising to hunt down any attackers still on the run. If we let one attacker go free, this person could be a time bomb. If Xinjiang separatists were to blame, why attack Kunming, 1,500 kilometers from the troubled region? The only apparent connection would seem to be the small ethnically Uyghur community. People here are just as shocked as fellow Kunming residents. I feel heartbroken for those dead and injured. Those who committed the crime are so wrong and we are so different from them. Despite that, there is a heavy security presence in Uyghur neighborhoods. If separatists were involved, this is the first major incident outside Xinjiang since the suicide car attack by separatists in Tiananmen Square last October. This incident comes as delegates prepare for the annual gathering of China's parliament, the National People's Congress, which the authorities normally like to ensure happens against a stable backdrop. By controlling how this event is being reported in China, they are still hoping to create that harmonious picture. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kunming.